Could you see and spell your first and last name for me, please? It's Corey, C-O-R-Y, Olson, O-L-S-O-N. And your title, sir? Uh, detective. With the Lewis and Clark County Sheriff's Office? Yes. Okay. Um, how long have you been in law enforcement, Corey? Uh, this month will be 21 years. All of those with the Lewis and Clark County Sheriff's Office. And tell me, uh, tell me about your positions with the SO. I started out as a patrol deputy, and then I became a dare instructor. And along those same times, uh, I was a member of the volunteer fire department, Which the, one? the Lewis and Clark County, mm -hmm. and also on the SWAT team. And I went into dare, did four years in dare, and. Got promoted to detective in 2000, right. and I've been there ever since. And what do you do as a detective? Right now, I'm working major crimes, which would be robberies, major burglaries, homicides, any crimes against people. Uh, in the past, I've specialized in crimes against children. Um, I was one of the founding members of the Child Advocacy Center here in Helena, mm -hmm. so that's very important to me, uh, protecting our kids from predators. I'm very proud to be a part of that. We also are trying to get a couple other people trained to, to help out with those because there are quite a lot of those cases, yeah. and um, they can they can wear on you yeah. uh, if you do them for quite a while. So just to give the uh, people who investigate it a little bit of a break, so one person doesn't get all of them. What does a county sheriff do? County sheriff is in charge of protecting people in the county. They're the chief law enforcement officer for the county. Um, they're in charge of maintaining the jail. They're also the county fire marshal. They are tasked with uh, overseeing a very large budget, a lot of personnel and equipment. And um, I am hoping that I will be your next sheriff. Your, your goal if elected, your goals if elected would be what? My goals if elected would be to Create a citizens council to help communicate with the citizens in the county. Uh, we would meet on a regular basis and we would talk about the concerns of the people and we would also talk about um, what the sheriff's office is doing, um, how the money is being spent, what things we have on the horizon as far as what expenditures, uh, you know, new thoughts, new training, new equipment, and just talk to the public about that. Um, most importantly is getting input from the public as to how we are doing our job, uh, what they would like to see more of. Um, in talking to people over the course of this campaign, uh, a lot of people think that they, uh, their voice is not being heard. So I would like to do everything I possibly can to make them feel like they are an important part of our decision making process. And uh, your message to the voters this next season is what? My message to the voters is it's time for a change, it's time for a positive change. I want to bring this office back to the people because the sheriff's office is not about the sheriff. It's about the men and women who work at the sheriff's office, and it's about the men and women in the county, the voters. Anything else like that? Um, just like to add that I'd also like to form a um, veterans volunteer group to give these guys that are coming back from overseas maybe some um, experience in what law enforcement's about, what detention's about. They can volunteer their time and get to know us and get to see what patrol does and what detention does and see if that's a career that they would like to get involved with and then like to help them in any way they can to, to get into that career. Um, what I'd really like to do is form a street crimes unit which would work during the high crime hours and they would be plainclothes officers who instead of are being reactive, they're proactive to crime. They don't answer calls, they just go around actively look for burglaries and drug deals, things like that. They would help the drug task force with cases. They would help the detectives with cases. They would help get back stolen weapons and stolen property. I think that's very much needed in our community. And it would be a very positive thing.